Hey guys, my name is Tetanesh Nuria and in this video we're gonna set up Aurora S6e port version 2 and have an in-depth view. So we're gonna change the language to English. And I'm gonna quickly enter my Wi-Fi password. Now my Wi-Fi is connected. We're gonna skip it. I'll set it up later. We're just gonna skip all of these. I'm gonna put in my name. We're gonna skip it. We're gonna set it up later and finish. This is the home screen. You can see some kind of Asian language. We're gonna cancel it and clear the notifications. It comes with Viper for Android and Aurora settings here here is the people's edge it takes some getting used to and it also has application app edge it is not very smooth it comes with briefing as well Let's just look at the apps first. This is the phone app. Contacts app. I don't have any contacts right now. And internet app. It's quite snappy. We're gonna allow it. And we're gonna close it. The camera app. It's faster than version 7. I've been using the version 7 for a long time. It has all the modes, but they all do not work. Some of them work. In the pro mode, most of the time it crashes. You can also download it, download some modes. And you can see that the people's edge is also coming in the camera. That's new in this ROM. And the selfie mode. The selfie mode takes some time to get up. And the music app. These are all of my songs, just like the S6 app it is, video app, let's just see a short preview of any video. The sound is a low, little low. The calculator app. The icon has been changed. The clock app. 
same as before the s planner the best thing about s planner is it shows holidays I don't use as health so I'm not gonna show it so let's get into smart manager it comes in very handy and I use it frequently I'm just gonna cancel it and the as assistant don't work in my country let's get into Aurora settings these are all the different things you can do I personally activate the, the right virtual power button what it does is it creates a virtual power button right in the top corner of your screen like this it comes with many settings that you can try And it comes with the updated Google app and Viper for Android which is very useful now let's get into settings you can see that the Android version is 6 mm, here you can see edge screen edge lighting actually works but it is very dim it is very difficult to see information stream doesn't does work I've seen it working but right now it is not working let's try it one more time it is not working right now let me just turn it off it is the new thing you can change the edge screen it comes on the left side as well let's go into lock screen and security the unlock effect there are only two unlock effects none and popping colors let's see the popping colors in accessibility there is a special lock called directional lock this is a lock based on the direction you swipe the screen like left up right and down continue left right bend down confirm I'm gonna set the backup pin as one two three four let's write the content and it unlocks if you need flash notifications you can go in hearing and turn on flash notifications and you also have power saving modes and ultra power saving modes and an ultra power saving mode let's get into it many different applications you can also 
download UPSM manager which adds more application in it let's get back out it, config it configures the device first let's get into the notification bar and see what things we have we have flash over here there are more over here this rom comes with download booster let's check out the themes let's download the space one So it's installing it. The ROM is now installed. Let's apply it. You can see everything is themed. In this ROM, the option key is used as recent app key. Let's close them all. Well, if you were using the old versions, you can notice that the ROM is very fluent than before. Let's get into my files and it is the same as before. And the Peel Smart Remote is the best application for i blaster and the messaging app the same i think that's it thanks for watching guys